Hey there, hobby homesteaders. Welcome back to Peaks Peak. Today, we're going to talk about the towing capabilities of the Kubota BX tractor. Now the question was asked by a fellow by the name of Mike if the Kubota BX would tow a 2,500 pound log splitter. And I'll just go ahead and tell you, that kind of question makes me a little bit nervous because there are so many variables that can come into play that to give a real answer to that question safely is very hard to do. But the first thing I wanted to do is look at manufacturer recommended uh, capabilities of this tractor. And we'll talk about those and then we'll talk about some of the things that you need to keep in mind before you tackle moving a certain object. So the simple answer is of course found in the manual of the Kubota BX. I'm gonna share one little clip of a diagram from the manual that talks about those specifications to kind of show you what they recommend for the towing capacities of the Kubota BX. So the first thing we see on that diagram is that the recommended maximum tongue weight for a trailer hooked to the hitch on the Kubota BX is 550 pounds. The trailer load weight Maximum recommendation is 1,765 pounds. Now that is the actual load that's on the trailer. So in this diagram, they're giving you 660 pounds for the actual trailer and then 1,765 pounds for load. Bringing your total trailer weight allowed by the Kubota recommendations of 2,425 pounds for towing capacities. Now, there are plenty of variables that can bring that number way down. If it's really muddy, if you're going to be on really steep hills, all of those things are going to affect the traction capabilities, the braking capabilities, all of those things come into play. So you need to be smart when you're towing anything with the Kubota BX. Now that being said, I've towed heavier weights with the Kubota BX. I'm not recommending that, I'm just saying it is capable on good flat dry ground as long as you have enough weight to keep your front tires on the ground so you can steer, you have it in four wheel drive so that you can brake, um, all of those things which we're going to talk about as we go through this video. But the manufacturer's recommendations are that you don't tow anything over 2,425 pounds total or 550 pounds of tongue weight. Now, let's talk about a couple of things that you need to keep in mind if you're going to tow with your Kubota BX. Now, I always remembered my dad with his old Alice Chalmers WD tractor had a three-point conversion on it, and he had him a draw bar with a hitch ball in that draw bar, and he would pull things around with it. So, when I got my tractor, I had me a little trailer. I wanted to pull the kids up the hill. First thing I did was got me a draw bar, threw me a hitch ball in it, and hooked up the trailer. I learned real quickly as the kids come running out and jumped on the back of the trailer and the three point went up in the air and they all screamed and rolled off the back of the trailer that that wasn't gonna work. There's no down pressure on the three point on the Kubota BX. So when you hook up any kind of trailer, any kind of pressure on the back of the trailer is gonna lift up your three point. You have no control over any of that. So you do not want to be towing trailers with your three-point draw bar or anything like that. You want to use the actual hitch that's on the tractor. So I have an inch and seven-eighths ball on that hitch that I can hook my little trailer when I want to, you know, pull the little utility trailer around or tow the kids up the hill or whatever. That's the way that I hook up to those. That is where they have the manufacturer's specification of 550 pounds max tongue weight is to that hitch and that's what these towing capacities are based on. If you're going to pull something, either hook to your draw bar or, which what I'm about to do is throw a ball on the back of my box blade because I have a trailer that I wanna be able to move around here, has plenty of tongue weight. I'm not gonna be pulling it with anything on the trailer just to move it around the parking areas out there. I wanna be able to quickly just back in under, pick it up and move it around. So I'm gonna weld me a ball on the back of my box blade today. But, same thing applies. Now you've got the weight of the box blade, you'll have the weight of the actual trailer itself. 
So with that, I shouldn't have any issues just moving that around. But you wanna understand when something is hooked to your three-point hitch, then it can raise up. There's no down pressure on that. The next thing you wanna think about when you're towing is just the simple physics of the fact that the Kubota BX weighs 1,600 pounds as a tractor. You put a loader on it with a bucket, that's about another 600 pounds, so you're looking at 2,200 pounds in the configuration when you're probably going to be towing. A few people put a ball on their backhoe setup and use that, and you'd be looking at you know 2,800 pounds or so if you had your backhoe on. But in this configuration with just your tractor, loader, and bucket on there, that machine weighs 2,200 pounds. You go putting 2,425 pounds behind this machine you have no trailer brakes on your trailer. You have no hookups for trailer brakes and all of that. So you have to be able to stop it with a machine that weighs less than the load behind it. So you gotta be smart. You can't be taking it up and down really steep hills and you gotta make sure that it's not too slimy because that kind of weight could push this machine, cause you to jackknife or slide and that turns it over. Somebody could get hurt really quickly. So you gotta think ahead. Think about your, your path you're gonna take, where you're gonna be traveling with the trailer, how much it weighs, and how you're gonna get it stopped. Now, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind when you are about to pull a load around, and the same thing applies if you're gonna fill the, the loader bucket full of weight, is the braking system and how it works on this Kubota BX. Because there are no external brakes on this. You don't have a brake on each wheel or anything like that. So, your braking system is in the drivetrain of this tractor which means if you're in two wheel drive, then the front wheels spin freely. There's no braking system at all. And I learned that the hard way too, because I loaded my bucket down with rocks up at the top of the hill and I headed down the hill with a, with a heavy bucket load of rocks in two wheel drive, just not thinking it through. And as I headed down the hill and hit a couple of bumps and it picked the back tires up off the ground, I started free wheeling. And you could feel it really quickly that the pack tractor was gonna pick up some steam. And so I hurried up and dropped the bucket and put the weight back down and put it in four wheel drive and took the load on down the hill. But in four wheel drive, all four wheels are then connected to the braking system that's on the drivetrain. That way, if you get a little light in the back end, your front wheels will still slow the tractor down when you hit the brakes. That's very important. Same thing applies to pulling a trailer. You wanna make sure that you're in four wheel drive so that you have all the traction that you need and your brakes work to the best of their ability because with that extra weight back there, it can throw things off. So it's best when you're towing on dirt and mud and all of those things that you put your tractor in four wheel drive. Now, these are just really some of the basics of towing with the Kubota BX. There are all kinds of other variables we could talk about. And if you think of those while you're watching this video, drop down in the comments and mention those. If you've got safety tips to share with your fellow Kubota owners, drop those in the comments. That way they can read and learn from them. So I guess the technical answer to Mike's question about a 2,500 pound log splitter by the book would be no, you shouldn't pull that log splitter based on Kubota's recommendations. That being said, if you're pulling it on flat ground in good dry conditions where there's good traction, the machine is perfectly capable of moving that log splitter around. But if you're gonna move it from site to site throughout the woods where you're gonna be going up and down hills and you're gonna find muddy, slick conditions and all of those, then you are definitely pushing the limits of this machine. So keep that in mind. And listen, I'm no authority. I can't tell you what you can and can't do. Your abilities may be much greater than mine, and so you can handle your tractor in situations that I don't wanna be in. At the same time, I may have more experience with my machine after owning it for a few years, and I may do some things that you're not going to be ready to do. And that's just fine. You've gotta know your abilities, and you've gotta make your own decisions. But some of this information can help you kind of decide what this machine is capable of doing and what you should try and what you shouldn't try. So I'm gonna drag the welder over here and I'm going to weld me a ball on the back of this box blade and then I'm going to move my trailer to a different parking spot. <laughs>
just to kind of give a little bit of illustration, my trailer here that I haul my BX on is about a 2,000 pound trailer. I haven't had it actually weighed, so I don't know exactly. But with the little ball on the back of my box blade, I can easily back right under it, pick it up, move it around the driveway, no issues whatsoever, not even anywhere near its the limits of its capability of moving something. So it's handy to have a, a ball that you can just pull under a trailer and move it around and relocate. And as you can see, I've got some junk around here, boat and whatnot that I need to move around and rearrange stuff every once in a while. So that's kind of handy to be able to do. And these are just the kind of things that a lot of us are doing with our little Kubota BX tractor. So I thought I'd share some specifications and a couple of ideas with you. I hope this helps you out and hope you enjoyed today's video. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good day. Thank you.